We are drying herbs without electricity today on the homestead. Let's take a look. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. And today I'm out in the herb garden. I'm hoping to do a big cutting of all the herbs today um, and to get them uh, drying for the winter. Uh, so today I am going to show you that there is a way to dry herbs that does not require electricity. You don't need a food dehydrator to dry herbs um, and uh, I'm going to show you how. Now when you're cutting your herbs back, you can be pretty aggressive cutting them back. Um, when I cut them back, I cut down at least, well, I would say at least half, but most of the time I'm cutting two thirds of the plant off. And even though it is the beginning of September right now, there's enough time left for them to grow again for another big harvest before the, it, the frost either takes them or before I dig them out and bring them into the house for the winter. Uh, so be confident, go ahead and give it a try, grow your own herbs and cut them at least two times a summer, two thirds of the way down and uh, bring them in the house and I'll show you how to dry them. So I'm gonna get started, I've got a lot to do. Well, I'm done for now. I'm not done forever and there's more to do in the other gardens, but I'm done with uh, this little garden. So I have uh, two nice baskets of herbs. I have um, thyme, rosemary, sage, and oregano, and I'm super excited to get these going because I've been out of thyme and oregano in the house for quite a while. And even though I could come out here and I could pick it fresh when I need it. It's so much more convenient to have it in the house already dried so I can use it when I'm cooking. Uh, so I am going to take these inside and I'm going to take you with me to show you what I'm going to do next. Come along. Okay, so I'm back in the house and I have the herbs with me. I've got two baskets here and I'm going to show you how I uh, get them ready to be dried. Um, so really, the secret is not to using um, electricity and a dehydrator for drying your herbs, is to just hang dry them in the house. Um, I hang dry them in the house rather than outside because um, I really don't want the elements to destroy some of the good oils and the flavors and stuff being outside. And I really believe that the sun's ultraviolet rays and just being exposed to all of that sunlight will bleach out a lot of the color, it will bleach out a lot of the flavor um, and get rid of some of the nutrients and really alter the flavor of those herbs. So I uh, bring them in the house and um, I prepare them and I hang them uh, in the house and I'll show you how I do that. Some good candidates for hang drying um, is sage and um, I just take a few bundles and I make sure that any of like, if there are any leaves on there that are dead or anything, I pull those off. Um, or if there are any that don't look very nice, this one's kind of spotted and looks kind of weird. I'll probably pull that off and, and not put that in there. So I make a nice little bundle. And really depending on how many I have will determine how big of bundles I make. Um, and I have quite a bit. This year um, I probably grew enough sage for us for probably the next five years. I won't plant it again next year. I'll probably start some and sell starts at the farmer's market but I don't think I'll need to grow sage at all for the next uh, few years for sure. I don't use it a lot. Um, it will be in one of my uh, mixes, I think, in the poultry mix. Uh, but other than that, I just don't use sage very much. And to be honest, I think it smells like armpits. Shh, nothing against you, sage. So anyway, I have them bundled up here. This is um, five little bundles of sage, and I'm gonna take a rubber band, um, and uh, it's just a normal, everyday rubber band, and I'm gonna, you know, kind of circle it in half to make a smaller rubber band. And then I'm just going to um, rubber band these together, just like that. Super easy, okay? And the last step is, because I hang dry these, I've actually had Kevin make um, 
an herb drying kind of line, like a laundry line, but for drying herbs in the house. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, right when I put the rubber band in there, I get a little um, a clothespin and I just clip it way up on the rubber band because then I'm going to use the um, the clothesline clip to clip it onto my um, herb drying rack. Okay, so I just do that right away so I know that I have these all ready to go and I can just put them right on my um, herb drying line. Okay, so that works really well with sage. Um, it works really well with oregano. I, I did a bunch of oregano. I use a ton of oregano and oregano grows like crazy here and I'm so happy. Now as you may have noticed, I don't wash things and I'm not really worried about bugs. I don't really care if it's a little bit dirty. Uh, it hasn't rained in a while so I know they're not wet which is important. Um, and uh, they're overall really, really healthy plants, so I'm not really worried about anything. Um, you know, you run the risk of them molding um, up here in the stems where you put these all together if you wash them first. That's ready to uh, put on my herb drying line, okay? So that's oregano. And this will also work really well with rosemary. Really anything that's on a stem like this. I have a bunch of basil out in the garden to I harvested it like a month ago and made that pesto video um, and I cut that like almost to the ground and now I'm not even kidding you it's like three feet high already I have to go out there and cut it all down again I'm gonna dry it this time the, the last thing I want to show you is that in my opinion this doesn't work well for all things uh, for instance um, thyme which I love it's it's you know, it's like smaller and it's like bushy and the, the stems are really thin and uh, I just really don't like drying these in bundles and hanging them on my herb drying line. So what I do instead is I use a platter. Okay, these are just right out of the garden. I haven't washed them or anything and I just, you know, I just lay them out like this on a platter. And I just spread them out so that there's, you know, air all around them. And then I just put them in an area that's up out of the way. Um, and I just let them sit there and I just let them dry. Just like that. And uh, it does really well. Now I use this technique for other things. Um, I use this a lot to dry the wild edibles that I forage for. Um, I use it um, when I'm collecting um, flowers. To save their seeds. These are all, um, I have the best golden colored bright yellow marigolds and I know that I bought the seeds from Baker Creek this year so I know that they are heirloom um, and so I picked a bunch of the um, dried flowers and I am drying these so that I can save the seeds and maybe put them in little packets that are cute and send them for gifts and stuff like that to friends and stuff maybe for Christmas or whatever. So those are the two ways that I get them ready to uh, to dry and I'm going to show you the uh, fun little um, herb drying line that Kevin has made for me and I'm going to get started hanging him up. Well welcome to our like middle room. This is a weird room in our house that we don't definitely don't film much in. There are no windows here. Uh, it's just kind of like a pass through room from the front of the house into like the kitchen and the dining room area. Our wood stove is here. Um, so it's a perfect place actually for me to hang my herbs and the wild edibles that I find when I am foraging because there's no direct sunlight and I feel that that's very important for me when I'm drying herbs and medicinals and wild edibles and stuff. So you can see behind me um, I have things drying here um, and this is the herb drying line that Kevin has created for me that I absolutely love. It really is just two hooks on the wall with some, uh, this is like jute or something, I don't know, some kind of a strong string that I just hang everything here to dry. Now um, you can see that, I mean I have some dill over here, I have uh, just some other things. Here, let me give you a little tip, okay? I'm not good at this. I need to be much better at this. Once you put your herbs and stuff up here, um, they all look the same. So my advice, if you can see over here, I have one little tag over here. Um, and that tells me over here, this, 
This tells me that this is wild bee balm. Well, that's the only tag up here and everything looks the same and when you smell one thing then they all smell like that. I have a bunch of lemon balm up here so to me everything now smells like lemon balm. I don't really know what's up here anymore. So uh, do yourself a favor and label things when you put them up here. As you can see I have things up here. I need to take them down and I need to put up my new fresh herbs so they can dry up here. It's really as simple as that you guys. Cut your herbs bundle them up, hang them up, and just leave them there until they dry. So no electricity required. You can do this off grid. So thank you guys so much for joining me on the homestead today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out if you have not already done so. Um, until next time, you guys take care, okay? And God bless.